So if you look at the screen from Engineering News, it says that South Africa's total PV capacity surged to almost 9 gigawatts this year. So that's 2024, which includes 2.8 gigawatts from private procurement and 6.8 gigawatts from private sector contributions. And it increased by 12% over 2023. Now, I just want you to remember that number, 6.1 gigawatts from private generation. Then I want you to look at this. From Cape Town, etc. ESCOM hikes costs for solar users as grid fees soar. Okay. You should ask yourself, why are grid, grid fees soaring? And over here, ESCOM wants to increase the fixed cost of using electricity by users, homeowners, by 88%. And it's going to increase from approximately 350 Rand to approximately 700 Rand just for having access to the grid. And then besides the, the, the service fee going up, the kilowatt hour charge is also going to go up by the 12% that NERSA have said ESCOM can put it up this year. And there's also a cost of about 50,000 Rand to meet the requirements that ESCOM have for PV people to be on the grid. But there's something missing from this, and it's in the spreadsheet. So private PV is 6.1 gigawatts. And from what I've seen, on average, people's inverters are bigger than their PV by 25%. So that makes 7.6 gigawatts of PV. Sorry, 7.6 gigawatts of inverters supply. So six kilowatts, six gigawatts of PV and 7.6 gigawatts of inverter supply. I've just rounded it over here. Then I've said, okay, uh, an average system with six kilowatts of PV and eight kilowatt inverter and a big battery bank of 30 kilowatt hours is about 250,000 Rand, which gives us uh, 31,250. And therefore, if we multiply that by uh, gigawatts, we get 31 billion Rand per gigawatt. And if we multiply that by the number of people in E5, the amount of installations of gigawatts, we get private people have spent maybe 238 billion Rand on PV inverters and batteries. Now we look at ESCOM, who've spent 250 billion Rand on 4.8 gigawatts, 500 billion Rand for two times that, and they're spending 52 billion Rand a gigawatt. And so you can see that private people, uh, including inverters and batteries, are spending less per gigawatt. But of course, the naysayers will say, but you know, PV doesn't, the sun doesn't shine all day, which is true. And that's why we have bigger battery banks, because batteries costs have halved since 2020 to 2025. Um, and solar panels prices have come down, inverter prices also coming down. Only thing that went up is installation costs because obviously labor costs have gone up. But in, in total, PV prices have come down. And I've said 250,000 Rand for the system. I think it can be done cheaper than that, but I'm trying to make it as, as much as possible just to make a point. So uh, as much as realistically possible. So the first is private people are spending approximately half per gigawatt of what ESCOM is spending, and the PV is available all the time. Now, I want to ask you, if private people are saving the grid or keeping the grid up and running, do you think that ESCOM should charge private people 800 Rand, 1,000 Rand, 5,000 Rand a month for the electricity that they're producing, when in actual fact, it's the private people that are keeping the grid going? And what we want is we want more and more people, private people, to be investing in PV. So I want you to consider how much PV is being introduced and inverters onto the grid. I want you to consider ESCOM putting up prices. And I want you to consider that private people are saving the grid, are keeping the lights on, and are diverting a lot of money that they could have spent on cars and holidays and their houses and having a better quality of life, making electricity, which is saying that ESCOM 
and the government are meant to do. So I just pose this question to you. Think about the numbers and think maybe South Africa should be doing what the rest of the world did and give rebates to people that installed PV. And in some cases, it was 20% or even 30%. So in other words, this 238 billion rand that was privately spent, and also all of this money that was, has been spent, has been spent on suppliers, it's kept tens of thousands of people employed in the industry that, isn't, that aren't employed by ESCOM, that are employed privately, installing systems, running warehouses, keeping everything up and running, and adding to South Africa's GDP, and adding to South Africa's ability to withstand load shedding. And how do people get thanked who've done, diverted all this money? ESCOM wants to put up their price, double or triple it. And meanwhile, as per other graphs that you've already seen on my website, PV pri electricity prices have already increased from 30 cents a kilowatt hour to 4 rand a kilowatt hour from 2008 to 2025. Whilst at the same time, the cost of making electricity, including batteries, has dropped 97% in the same time. So where are we going? What are we doing? What should we be doing?